Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind the Country Chic Cottage. So Cricut recently updated Design Space to include something they're calling guides. I thought I'd do a video walking you through how to use guides as well as how I would personally use them in Design Space and that way you can kind of get an idea of how to use them when you are crafting with your Cricut machine and using Cricut Design Space. So let's head to Design Space and take a look at guides. So let's first take a look at guides and what they are. So as just a example, we're gonna add a square to Cricut Design Space. So when you add this square it, under operation, it will say basic cut. If you pull that box down, you now have a option that says guide. So let's leave it at basic cut first and click make it. We'll say on the mat and you'll see the square on the mat to cut. Let's cancel that change this to guide and so now it's just a guide and you'll notice I don't even have a make it button that's because the guides don't cut they don't show up they don't print they're literally just a guide for you to size your project so let's say I had a wood piece that was six inches by six inches and I wanted to put a design on it now I have a guide to add my design so I can pick any image in Cricut Design Space and I can size it using this guide to determine how big or small I would like my project to be when I make it. So then once I have my project like I want it, everything looks good, let's click make it and you'll see that the guide does not print or cut. Let's say on the mat, continue, and you will see all the pieces of my project, but no guide. So it does not print or cut. It is similar to a template if you've ever used Cricut templates. However, this is a way to make your own custom templates depending on the size of your project. So let's look at a couple ways to use this. This is a sticker sheet that I sell in my shop, but let's say that these were all individual pieces and I wanted to optimize the print then cut size for Cricut Design Space. So let's add a square. Let's unlock that and let's make it 6.75 by 9.25. So the maximum size for print and cut for Cricut Design Space. And I'm gonna go ahead and change that to a guide. So now it's a guide and we'll zoom in a little bit. Now I can resize each sticker to optimally fit my paper. I would recommend picking the guide itself and arrange send to back. That will help you arrange and move your stickers without accidentally picking that guide. So now we can just make these stickers fit the room we have, make them the size we want to make them, and we could even duplicate them to fill the page. So this allows us to easily optimize print and cut for Cricut Design Space. So I used to do this by adding a square to Cricut Design Space, doing all this, and then deleting the square off or hiding the square. So changing it to a guide makes it a little bit easier. The guide is clear already. You don't have to change the color and you don't have to hide or delete it when you're done. So when you're done, you can just click make it and this one will be ready to go. You will want to, in this case for a sticker sheet, attach all of these together so that they all print at once. So something else to note about guides, if I wanna copy and paste a bunch of these, if I include the guide in my selection, copy and paste, it will make another guide. So you can either delete off that second guide or you can move the guide over to the side and pick what you wanna copy and paste, add that to your canvas, and then just pull the guide back over into place. So however you wanna do it, but just be aware that it will pick your guide when you're choosing things to copy and paste. So now I have one really optimized sticker sheet. We can pick everything and click attach. So now I've attached everything together and we can click make it. So you'll see your entire sticker sheet is here and you can see that the guide is not here. The black box that you do see are the registration marks for Cricut Design Space. So the guide itself will not print even though I attached it to the sticker sheet. So let's look at another way where guides might be useful. So let's say I wanna make these labels and I wanna make several of them, but it can be annoying to like duplicate each one, add the text, resize the text. So if we make this a guide, now we can kind of see it and we can duplicate the text based on the guide. So there we have our text, pull that over to the side. Then I can just keep using this guide for all my words, making sure they fit and then duplicate the label. 
move my guide to the side, move my text over, center, attach. But that means I can save this and my guide will still be there when I wanna make more labels. So the most annoying thing to me about making labels is that I don't have one later. So if I save this with the guide, I will have one later. Because let's say I wanna make this a print and cut label. I would need to flatten this. So I'll flatten that. And now it's a flattened print and cut label. If I do that to all of these, so now I have all four of my labels and they're all print and cut. Now, let's say I come back a year from now. What I've done is I've made a guide out of the label and I made a guide out of the text. Why did I make a guide out of the text? Now I can tell exactly what font I used. So a year from now when I come back, I can pick the same font and make labels without needing to unflatten and find the font and find the right label. It's all here, but as a guide. So I don't have to hide it. I don't have to delete it off. I can just click make it. It will just be my print and cut labels ready to go without the guides, either the text or the label on my actual project. So that's just another way where I think guides will be useful. I'm sure you'll find other ways as well. So hopefully that helps you explain a little bit about guides, what they are, and allows you to start using them correctly. If you have any questions about anything I've covered, please drop down in the comment section, ask away. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week. And trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.